Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The French deputies passed a resolution on the recognition of the Artsakh Republic. There is no institution of responsibility in Armenia, says culturologist Garine Hakopian. Interview with a representative of research on Armenian architecture Rafi Kortoshan. Another group of refugees returned to Stepanakert from Armenia. Aurora begins implementing humanitarian programs for people of Artsakh. In their same villagers demand the restoration of a church looted by treasure hunters. A group of French deputies made a resolution on the recognition of Artsakh Republic. The resolution was registered and approved by the Presidency of the National Assembly on October 16, 2020. It should be noted that the Republic of Western Armenia appealed to France to condemn the Azerbaijani-Turkish atrocities in Artsakh and to take measures against the belligerent policy of these two countries. Proposal of resolution separate article. The National Assembly taking into account Article 34.1 of the Constitution, having regard to Article 136 of the Charter reaffirms the determination to contribute to peace efforts in the South Caucasus, highlighting the strong desire of the French diplomacy since 1994 to seek a solution to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict within the framework of the Minsk group together with the other co-chairs Russia and the United States. Recalling the four-day war in Nagorno-Karabakh in April 2016, the transfer of the conflict to the sovereign territory of the Republic of Armenia in July 2020, taking into Count the alliance between Azerbaijan and Turkey, which was aimed to promoting a military solution, which led to the resumption of hostilities on September 27, 2020, taking into account the recruitment of the mercenaries who served in jihadist group in Syria in the ranks of the Azerbaijani army, their participation in the fighting that began on September 27, 2020. Considering that the Armenian minorities under the administration of Azerbaijan have been massacred in Sumgeit February 25, 19. 1988, in Kirovabad, November 23, 1988, in Baku, January 12, 1990, and in Maraga, April 10, 1992. Therefore, their security cannot be guaranteed in the territory of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Taking into account the reports of the European Parliament against the racism, intolerance, and the UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, which confirmed that the Armenian population cannot live freely in Azerbaijan. Taking into account France's neutral position on the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict as a co-chair of the Minsk Group as a diplomatic engagement where it facilitates the process of step-by-step -step negotiations, which is hindered by Azerbaijan's pursuit of military solution. Considering the threat of large-scale armed conflict in the South Caucasus, as a result of which the regional powers may find themselves on a threshold of the Middle East. Note that the refusal of government of Azerbaijan to resolve the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict through negotiations emphasizing the unique nature of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict due to the hostilities and regional influences, which requires an appropriate solution, reaffirms the urgent need to reach the final settlement of the conflict, guaranteeing the lasting security of the civilian population, reaffirms the obsolete need to ensure its full sovereignty for Nagorno-Karabakh beyond the threat of extermination of the Armenian population from Azerbaijani administration. Within the final boundaries set in the multilateral negotiations, including the Artsakh authorities, calls on the government to immediately recognize the Artsakh Republic and establish diplomatic relations with the Artsakh authorities in order to reach a final settlement of the conflict. On November 18, a few hours after the Paris municipality accepted the call for the recognition of the Artsakh Republic, the Senate of the French Republic decided to submit to avoid the draft resolution on the need to recognize the Republic of Nagorno. Karabakh. On Western Armenia TV, culturologist Garine Hakopian spoke about the monuments of Armenian historical and cultural value in Armenia, presented her vision of the culture policy pursued by the Ministry of Education and Science in Armenia. She also touched upon the vicious habit of neighboring countries to present our culture. You can watch the full interview on our official YouTube channel. On Western Armenia TV, Rafi Kortoshan, a researcher at the Research on Armenian Architecture Foundation, presented the historical and cultural monuments of Artsakh, their significance. He also spoke about the monuments in the territories that are currently under the control of Azerbaijan, made comparisons about the monuments in Nahijevan in Western Armenia and the fate of the monuments that will be handed over to Azerbaijan in the near future. You can watch the full interview on our official YouTube channel. 
936 refugees returned to Artsakh from Armenia on November 18, the Russian Defense Ministry reported, saying that its peacekeepers and military police escorted 23 buses that departed from Yerevan to Stepanakert city. The report says that 23 buses arrived from Yerevan to the main square of Stepanakert, accompanied by the patrol groups of the Russian peacekeeping contingent as well as the military police. It is noted that 2,600 people who had previously fled their homes have returned to Stepanakert since November 14. The program of Aurora Humanitarian Initiative was launched on November 18, 2012, which will provide direct assistance to the population of Artsakh. As Armen Press was informed from the Public Relations Department of the IDEA Foundation, the first separated projects are Assistance for evacuation of residents from seven settlements of Martagert region, Nor Maragan, Nor Aigestan, Nor Seisula, Nor Karmiravan, Nor Haikajur, Hoftashan, and Nor Jirabert, $10,000. Support for 15 days of food, 166 people sheltered in Sevan, Dilijan, Yerevan, jointly with Victory 2020 Foundation, $10,000. Assistance to Stepanagert municipality to restore the central market, $10,000. Provision of 50 packages of basic necessities to children displaced from Artsakh and transferred to Armenia are at region in cooperation with Global Shapers, $2,050. Purchase of vital medicine for the elderly living in Artsakh jointly with the Miasim Foundation, $2,000. In addition, Aurora has started accepting applications for projects to help children, displaced families and the wounded in Artsakh and Armenia. Residents of the village of Gechimli in Tunjali province of Western Armenia want to restore the Ergen church looted by treasure hunters and take it under their protection. Ergen church, built by Armenians 1,300 years ago, reflects the delicate details of traditional stone carvings in the region. The church, which was almost completely destroyed on the walls, was also targeted by treasure hunters. One of the villagers said that the weddings had taken place here before. There are many churches in this region. Ergen is one of them. When we enter, we see that it has been destroyed by the citizens. The stones have been thrown, there are inscriptions on the walls. There was even a fire inside, our interlocutor added at the end. Now let us represent your attention a song by Akung Ensemble. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.